So project infrastructure for me is like the bread and butter of every day working with Osmocom. So uh, I am probably going to miss a few details. If you have any questions or stuff that is only obvious to me and not to you, then please uh, interrupt or ask afterwards. So um, I'm going to talk about your typical project infrastructure, mailing lists, wiki issue tracking, continuous integration, version control, patch review, our manuals and our nightly bills, last but not least. So the mailing list, uh, for everything I will post a, a wiki link, um, which is probably more for later reference. I also have the pages pulled up here uh, next to it. So uh, we can, if you have questions, we can have a closer look. So basically the archives are public, as always. Uh, you should be subscribed and uh, we have lots of mailing lists, but the main activity is on the OpenBSC, the traditional one. Um, we have a separate GPRS one, but still most of the discussion is happening here in OpenBSC. And um, uh, I don't know why I put this here, but I think it should go here. So we have some, some rules. Um, yeah, I mean, have a good subject line. Don't just quote the whole mail. Uh, don't send HTML. Uh, start a new thread for a new topic. Uh, don't say something like, this mail shall not be read by people not liable to our company rules, whatever. No pseudo-legal disclaimers. Uh, stay on topic of the mailing list. Don't spam. And have a correct time so that our mail logs work out uh, and we don't get like your mail always uh, at the bottom into the far future or something like that. So uh, that's pretty basic. And that's what your typical mail looks like. I don't know, I just picked a random one and shortened it a bit. So we have a clear subject line. It's sent to OpenBSC and uh, Harold on April 1st. <laughs> Uh, asking for a longer uh, line width, but it wasn't an April Fool's actually. So now we decided for 120 lines of code width being permissible. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's the mailing list. It should be obvious, but uh, so if you have a question, come to openbsc at lists.osmocom.org and we will most probably help you. So the wiki is at uh, osmocom.org, also reachable at projects.osmocom.org. It's your uh, standard Redmine. Uh, we use the Redmine as wiki and as issue tracker. And uh, how to get to the juicy wiki documentation is you basically pick a project. The cellular, infra cellular infrastructure is the umbrella thing for most other things. And then you just click on wiki and this cellular infrastructure main wiki page would be the main starting point for almost everything. And uh, you can also pick other projects. There are many, as you might know. So um, wiki is an ancient Inuit word for hopelessly outdated. So um, you can register easily, but you can't edit right away simply because uh, we don't want to allow anyone to spam right away. But I can assure you, if you just uh, ask, um, we will just grant you wiki editing rights and you can partake and you can contribute like that. Um, yeah, you can ask publicly on OpenBSC or probably mail one of us uh, privately at Sysmocom as well. So don't hesitate, uh, join us if you see outdated or erratic information. Um, the Jenkins is, yes? Maybe you mentioned it. Sorry. Um, uh, we still saw lots of wiki spam, that's why we introduced this. But interestingly, there seems to be very little people trying to spam the issue tracker. So you can report issues just by self-registering you yourself to Redmine. So you're, you're allowed to post new issues in the, in the issue tracker, but you're not able to uh, edit the wiki unless you ask for it first. So um, for reporting issues, there's no special permission required. 
I hope no spammers are listening on the live stream. Yeah, yeah, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this closed. All right. Um, so Jenkins, first of all, it's uh, for us to check whether we introduce new bugs. Of course, that's limited because we can only run the test suit, and uh, that's why we have, uh, in an aside, we have the Osmo GMS GSM tester being developed where we actually have hardware, BTS and modems, and we set up all the software to work together and really physically send an SMS to a modem. Um, but the Jenkins basically just the, does the make check uh, of, of our projects and verifies that that still works and also makes a disk check and uh, maybe a Debian packages possibly. Um, so... Um, it tests what gets into the master branch, but bef even before that, it tests every patch that we uh, post for review. So um, you will see that later on Garrett, we will have a little tick mark for a patch that passed the make check. But uh, also, very importantly, the Jenkins updates are um, manuals. As soon as we edit it, it basically goes online right away. That's why it always has this big uh, draft watermark in the back. So. Uh, you know it's uh, recent. And um, also the nightly packages that are very important for new users, they also get built every night by our Jenkins and they get published right away. So uh, that's what your Jenkins looks like. Um, I just happened to click on the OpenBSC tab and you see our projects being built and then you see uh, this is one uh, odd job that hasn't actually run for eight months so uh, take a look at that before you assert that something is wrong. So this is just a legacy. The important ones are succeeding. But uh, taking a look at the OpenBSC, you see that occasionally we do have, uh, unfortunately, still some odd failures, just sporadic. Uh, if you click on it, or well, actually I clicked on the bottom one and picked the, hold on, console output, then this is our, well, you can investigate the errors. Everyone should know this, basically. It's very uh, basic knowledge. But this is just for interest, this is our sporadic failure that we see every now and then. It's the broken pipe and one of the VTY tests. Yeah, we also test the VTY input and output. Uh, so much for the Jenkins. Um, version control is Git, obviously. And um, so... By the example of libosmocore, that's our main upstream libosmocore git repository, and we also have lots of other projects, each in the same pattern. Here's a screenshot of the list, and uh, at gitosmocom.org you can also view uh, the details, like I just showed the logging code from libosmocore. And um, if you contribute patches, take a look at these uh, websites, the coding standards, and um, you would actually submit the patch on Garrett. And uh, to get started with Garrett, we have this link. Uh, not something we should look into now. That's just a screenshot of the Garrett. Don't worry about what is listed here. It's just a bunch of patches waiting for review and uh, the verified tick marks from the Jenkins. And these ones failed. They still need a patch up and votes plus one as soon as it gets plus two. Like this one with two tick marks, it could be submitted right away and could be merged to master. And um, right, um, very interesting source of quite formal information are the Osmocom manuals. Like the wiki is more like how do you build from source? Uh, how do you? Wh what do you need to do this or that? Or like uh, uh, recipes and so on. The Osmocom manuals are your real uh, juicy bits of. Um, definitive documentation on what do the protocols do, what uh, VTY commands exist, uh, how, how do things connect. And we all, always have the latest uh, manuals at this FTP, Osmocom Org Docs latest. And uh, here you see the bunch of them, if you can see it. The recent, most recent edition, the Osmo GSM tester manual is still undergoing development. Uh, the Osmo BTS user manual, the description of what the ABIS interface can do, 
VTY reference manuals, the NITB user manuals, so we should soon also see an uh, Osmo MSC user manual, probably, probably, SGSN, what have you, PCU, take a look there. And that's the draft watermark I was talking about, that's what the manuals generally look like, uh, an index clickable references to um, uh, sections and to um, bibliography graphs and um, you could build from source but it's uh, kind of hard for a beginner the easiest and fastest way to get started with, with Osmocom is to go check out the nightly builds we provide um, Debian packages and uh, Ubuntu the builds are named uh, Xubuntu, but I'm not actually sure if that's uh, the XFCE flavor of Ubuntu or uh, whether it's really just compatible with your main Ubuntu. Do you know, Max? All Ubuntu flavors. So the X is for all, not for XFCE. Okay, I see. So uh, until recently, we also had Debian 7, but it got uh, disabled. And um, since yesterday, we also named these two on the wiki page for the nightly builds before they were just missing there so uh, we noticed recently and yeah the OpenSUSE page for building yeah we use the OpenSUSE build service despite uh, those being Debian packages um, so they are, that's what they are packages for lib osmo abis, lib osmo native, lib osmo SCCB, osmo core and so on the uh, libraries Osmo HLR, OpenBSC, containing all of the NITB and so on. And we're planning to also include um, 3G packages uh, like Osmo MSC and IUH and all that stuff as Debian packages soon. For uh, i586, so a 32-bit and a 64-bit platform each. Uh, some stuff failed there. We should look into that probably. So, um, what was I writing here? Oh yeah, that's just some more detail. Um, you will find all the details on how to use them on the wiki page. Refer to the slides later on. Right, so I'm through this pretty fast. Um, I hope I didn't miss anything or please uh, remind me of things I should be adding <laughs> to this information. Yes. It says Osmocom GSM manuals. Are you planning to include manuals for 3G also? Yeah, I guess the GSM is historical. Also, the Osmo GSM tester says GSM, but we will probably include um, a Nano 3G soon. You only have uh, x86 uh, architecture, not only not ARM. Uh, we, well, we have builds for the Sysmo BTS specifically, but that's uh, from it's from the Sysmocom uh, infrastructure. So that's not really Osmo Osmocom built, but that that Sysmocom provides that openly. Okay, thanks. Any more questions? No. Okay, well then, thanks Niels. Yeah, pleasure.